What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Uh, happy Monday. Happy Super Bowl hangover Monday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Uh, gonna touch base with you guys real quick. Uh, gotta go off and get my my daughter and take her from one event to another event. Um, but today I'm gonna be real, real, real honest with you guys about um, about goals and about your progress. Hey, Mindy about your progress in your fitness goals, right? So now we're at uh, February 4th, 2019, and it has been 35 days, 34 days. What's up, Kay? Um, it's been 34 days since your New Year's resolution, right? You promised to, to lose weight, you promised to get in better shape, you promised to eat healthier, you promised to uh, be committed to changing yourselves, um, and, and we did that with, with many different areas of our lives, right? Uh, but many of us did it with fitness. And so I'm going to focus on why the three main reasons why you, right? You, me, whoever, why we fail in our fitness goals, in our health ambitions, right? The three reasons why I think we fall short time and time again trying to lose those last 30 pounds, trying to trying to be consistent with our with our eating, trying to be committed to going to the gym um, and getting healthier. So the three major reasons, we're going to be really quick today, maybe, we'll see. Um, number one, reason number one is you have not really committed to changing, right? You You say you want to change. You say you want to be better. You say you want to want to want to eat less carbs. You say you want to drink less, smoke less, walk more, exercise more, whatever it is. But you really don't want to do it permanently, right? And I did a, um, I do a talk. I did a write up. Uh, I try to find it and post it. Uh, but I talk about you have to stop dating your health and fitness, right? And you have to marry it, right? You have to say no matter what is going to happen from this day forward, I'm committed to you, right? We all like to date our fitness. We all like to fantasize and go through the fun times of fitness, right? When that when that urge hits you to be in shape, when you pass by that ad or you see that commercial or, or whatever it is, right? I call it a fitness seizure. We have these fitness seizures throughout the year and you're committed in the moment. What's up, Big Ray? You're committed in the moment to being better, but you're not really bought into it, right? That's why we do these 30-day detoxes. That's why we go on these 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 binges where we're going to start doing this diet or that diet, or we do keto, or we do a group bond for this workout, or we do all these things and never really fully committing, right? We never say, I want to permanently eat less carbs. We say, I'm going to do no carbs for 30 days. We, we never say, I'm going to permanently get up and exercise three days a week. We said, I'm going to do a 30 day challenge, right? So that's fine and dandy, but that, that feeling goes away just like dating, right? When you meet somebody new, that feeling of euphoria is temporary, right? The feeling you have when you first meet somebody and you're dating and everything's new, right? And fun, that's temporary. And so when you marry somebody, you know, there's going to be days weeks maybe, maybe even months where it isn't all roses, right? It isn't all fun. When you have a baby, when you have children, you know, you know when you go into it that you're committed to the long term, that it won't always be fun, right? But you're committed to it. So we don't do that. You don't, you don't do that with your health and fitness, right? One thing I've done is I've done that, right? I, I realized from day one it wasn't going to be easy most of the time. And even now, most days it isn't easy to work out. It isn't easy to fast. It isn't easy to go one less donut or one less cookie or one more day without bread, right? It's never going to be easy, right? But I'm committed to it, right? So the first problem is we don't fully commit. You have to say, you know what? You have to first understand and accept and realize that the way you're living is not how you want to live. If that's the case, if it's not, then there's no, no need to worry about it. But if you believe it's worth dieting for 30 days, then it's probably worth dieting forever. 
it's probably worth changing how you eat forever. If you think it's worth doing a challenge, hey, Brandy, if you think it's worth doing a challenge for 30 days, you know, an ab challenge or a burpee challenge, if you think it's worth doing it for 30 days, it's probably worth doing it permanently for the rest of your life, right? So instead of dating your health and fitness, marry it, commit to it, right? Say, I'm going to be with you when I know it's raining outside and I don't want to go to the gym. I'm going to be committed to you even when there's a Super Bowl party or an anniversary or a birthday, Okay, so that's the first problem is we don't commit to it. So we need to do that, right? The next problem, and they're all related, right? Problem number two is we, because we're not committed, we fall, pre, fall prey and are susceptible to these quick fixes, right? Because you didn't commit to it in January, now in June, when summer rolls around, you have to do some drastic 30-day measure to get in shape to go on your cruise or, or go to the beach or whatever it is, right? Now, because you didn't commit to it in March, now on your anniversary, you got to do some detox for 30 days or some 30-day some, some, uh, uh, program with, with, with uh, uh, Weight Watchers or something, Right now, because you didn't commit to it, you go in and out of these drastic measures, right? I'm going keto, right? No, no, no carbs at all, right? For, for, for 30 days, knowing full well that you're not committed to it still for the long term. But now because you didn't commit to it six months ago, now you have to go extreme. You have to go cold turkey because you have a wedding to go to, right? Or a cruise or a vacation to go on. Right, so problem one is we don't commit to it and say, you know what, I'm in for the long haul. And because we don't commit to it, now problem number two is we end up doing these drastic measures over and over again, right? No sugar 30 days, right? We lose five pounds, go to Hawaii, come back, gain six pounds, right? Then we're going uh, somewhere else or there's, or there's a wedding coming up. So we do a 30 day, every day we do cardio for 30 days. Right, we go to the wedding, we come back, we gain five more pounds, right? Because we're not committed to it. So we go in and out of these of these uh, cycles where we're going extreme and then getting back to what we did before. It's like we have our 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 mate, the one we care about, and and when they're mad at us, right, when it's extreme, we're all in. Hey Sarabi. When it's extreme, we're all in. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm here. I promise I'll be good. I promise I'll be good. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll clean the dishes. I'll wash the car. And I'll bring you roses. And then once that subsides, we're back to our old selves. Right? That's how it is with our, with our bodies. Right? We don't commit to it in the beginning. Right? So in January, we said, I'm going to be good. I promise. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to exercise. Right? And then once that, that feeling subsides... We, 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 we tail off, we fade off for weeks and months, right? And now when, when in the window we can see a vacation coming up or a wedding or whatever, now all of a sudden we want to be romantically involved with our body again, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I love you. Here's some flowers, here's some candy. And now we're dating our body again, right? But now it's extreme. Now we go through all these extreme cases because we neglected it for two, three, four, five months, two, three, four, or five years, right? So step one, problem one, is we don't really commit to it. Now I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm not saying this is the problem why we can't keep the weight off, or we can't keep the conditioning up, or we can't uh, continue our, our habits that we start, right? Step one, problem one, is we don't really commit to it. We, don't really, we have no intention, really, of going to the gym forever, be honest with yourself. You have no intention of going no carb or low carb forever, right? We have no intention of doing that, right? We want to do it for 30 days. We want to do it because we saw somebody lose 10 pounds and I want to try this for 45 days. I want to try this for a couple months, right? We don't, we, we don't fully, like, we don't, we don't fully commit, right? I don't, you know, I want to try being married for a few years, see how it works out. Instead of saying I'm married, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go in full hearted and 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 be committed forever, right? So problem one is we don't commit to our fitness, 
right? Which leads to the problem too, is we go in and out of these extreme uh, conditions, these extreme cycles, where we go know something for 30, 45 days, and we do extreme something for 30, 45 days. Cardio every day, right? Every day we're doing cardio, working out, trying to get ready for a vacation, right? No sugar for 30 days. Burpee challenge, plank challenge, all these challenges for 30 days. Instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to commit to changing my, my, my habits and, and my strategies permanently. All right? And all those are because of step three and problem three is we really don't understand how these things impact our bodies. Right? So problem one is we're not committed, which means problem two happens where we go in and out of these cycles of extreme cases. Right. Because problem three is we don't really understand or care to understand how our bodies work. And I know this because people won't even sit down with me for 10 minutes and listen to me explain to them how the glycogen works, how the G tank, my term for for the body's uh, storage of glycogen, how that works. Right. Why? Why steady state cardio is inferior to moving weights around. Right. Why? Why fasting? can be very, very helpful in helping you uh, obtain the ideal body composition, right? All these things, right? They don't wanna, all they wanna see is a commercial that tells them they can lose 10 pounds. Why pounds are not as important as lean muscle mass, right? Why, the, why your heart rate, why, why some monitor or some number on your, on your watch is not as important as, as being fully invested in the workout, right? So problem one is they're not invested, committed to it which leads to problem two, they're in and out of these extreme uh, cycles because problem three is they really don't understand what all these things do. Because if they did, if you did understand, right, you would see how simple it is to be in shape and how, 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 how the, the human body evolved over thousand, thousands of years to work a certain way, right? So, what we have to do, guys, is do the reverse of all those. And you can do it. I know you can do it. We all can do it. Right? If your great-grandmother can do it, why can't you do it? Right? If 99% of our existence as human beings, we live a certain way, doing certain things, moving every day, fasting every day, why can't we do it? Right? So if the problems are, number one, right, we're not committed to it. And so because of that, number two, we go in and out of these, these extreme cycles because number three, we don't understand how our bodies work. The remedy to that is very simple. Number one, we commit to it, right? And I'm not saying you should. I have a saying in my class. I'm not saying you should want to be in shape. I'm not saying you should want to be fit and feel good about yourself. I'm not saying, same with sports. I'm not saying my son should want to play in the NBA. I'm not saying my daughter should want want to be a, a dancer on Broadway, right? But what I am saying is if you want that, this is what it's going to cost, right? Not everybody has to have a Porsche or a Lamborghini or a Maserati, right? And it's not, and it's not necessarily better to have that than a Toyota or a Mazda, right? But if you want a Lamborghini, if you want a nice body, if you want nice health, this is what it costs. This is what it costs. Right, so I'm not saying I don't judge anybody. Again, my, you know, my mother and father were not ideal, um, ideal role models for health and fitness or body composition. Right, so and and my my extended family has very limited role models for health and fitness. Right, I love them all, so I'm gonna love people. Right, no matter what, I'm gonna love you no matter what. Right, but I know how it feels to not be healthy. I know how it feels to not be what you want to be because I've lived that I want to pen I want to play in the NFL I live that and I see it all the time with family with friends with my students so I'm not saying you should want that but what I am saying is if you do want to be like that if you want to be healthy and strong and vibrant this is what it costs right so if we know what the problems are right the three major problems which I outlined earlier and keep outlining, number one, we're not committed to it. Number two, because of that, we go in and out of these extreme cases, fasting, right? No sugar, working out every day, all these, all these extreme cases and these, these, these new things we're trying for 30 days, 45 days, 
right? My timeline on Facebook is is inundated with people trying new stuff. I'm back on keto. I'm back on this. Why don't you just get a strategy that you know works, commit to it long-term wise and be successful. Hey, Jerrica. Hey, Rose, right? So if we know problem one is we're not committed to it, then commit to it, right? Marry it, right? If you know that carbs are a problem, commit to a long-term strategy of less carbs. I, I intermittent fast every day. So that's my way of reducing carbs, right? I've never done no sugar for 30 days. I've never even thought about never eating sugar again, right? Impossible. So why would I, why would I even start something that I know I can't continue, right? I'm committed to a change that's permanent. And if I can't do no sugar forever, why would I start doing that? Right? Why not do a lot less sugar, which is what I do? Right? If I can't train every day, why would I start doing that? Right? Instead of starting something I know I can continue forever. So commit to something, guys, forever. Not 30 days, not two months, not a year. What can you do forever? Right? Because if you think that you can just be in and out of this fitness thing and health thing, you are fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself. Your ancestors couldn't do it. You can't do it. Right? You can't say, I'm going to kind of do it. You can't kind of do it. Right? The world is stacked against you. Number one. Number two is your body wasn't meant to kind of do it. Your body's meant to, to, to do it. Right? To eat less. To move more. Right? If your body was meant to do that and you're not doing that, that's why your body doesn't look the way you want it to look. Simple as that. Sounds mean, but that's what it is. Right? So if, if problem one is you're not committed to it, commit to it. Right? And problem two is because of that, you keep doing these drastic measures, stop doing drastic measures. Right? When someone tells you to do a challenge for 30 days, say, you know what? I want to do a six-year challenge. Let's do that. Right? When someone says, I want, I want to do cardio every day. I want, I want, to, I want to track it, do, do steps. No, I want, I, want to, I want to do something that I can do forever that makes sense. Right? That's going to impact my life, impact my health, impact my body composition permanently. Not to win some challenge. Right? right? If, if, if you can tell me that the last time somebody won a challenge and then was successful still a year later, then show me that person. Right? All these challenges are meant to get something in 30 days. Right? Never to make you committed long term wise. Right, so if the problem is we're not committed, commit to it. The problem is because we're not committed to it, we're in and out of these extreme cases. Stop doing the extreme cases. Right? And then lastly, guys, right, we have to make sure we understand how the body works. Right? Take time to invest in it. Stop, get off your get off your damn Facebook page watching these cat videos and invest in people, whether it's me. Whether it's your friends, hey Colleen, hey Marie, whether it's YouTube, whether it's you know plenty of apps out there that you can study and learn things, learn how the body works, learn how your body stores glycogen, learn how your body burns energy, learn how ketone, what ketones really are, instead of saying, well, I just I just saw some keto thing, someone's doing it, I'm gonna try it. Learn what it is. All right, so I gotta run, guys. Gotta get my daughter. Uh, but the three problems again, guys, we don't commit to it, right? We don't commit to it. Stop lying to yourselves. Stop dating it. Marry it, right? Because of that, we go in and out of these extreme cases. Stop doing that. No more 30-day challenges. No more 30-day this and that, right? Commit to it long-term wise. And then lastly, guys, learn how the body works. If you want help, if you wanted somebody to teach you, how to do it the right way. I'm 46. I'm in as good a shape now as I was when I was playing football in college. And if anybody can 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 attest to that or against that, I'm more than welcome to, to comment. But learn about the body, guys. Learn how your body works. Take some time to understand this relationship you have with your body and care about it. All right, guys. So happy Monday. Uh, I will check back with you guys shortly, maybe next tomorrow or, or Wednesday. Uh, but as always, we're trying to get better every single day, guys, right? One inch, one step, one foot, one mile, one pound at a time. All right, guys. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.